Basically every single YouTuber is reviewing or has reviewed the iPhone 15 Pro, but unfortunately I'm too broke for that. I'm not the type of person that can afford to buy a thousand dollar phone every single year just to make a review video on it. So I went to the Apple store on my city's <laughs> shitty yeah. bus service, looked at the iPhone 15 Pro, played around with the action button for a bit, and of course I can't walk out of the Apple store empty handed. So I bought a $19 Apple polishing cloth. So here it is. This is my review video of the Apple polishing cloth. Yeah, I am running out of video ideas. How can you tell? So here is your Apple polishing cloth unboxing experience. So on the front, we have Apple polishing cloth and of course a picture of the cloth. And on the back, there is no serial number, thankfully, but because it's Apple, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they serialized every single one of these polishing cloths. But you can tell that this is pretty old because it says copyright 2021 and it still has Russian text on it. We all know that Apple pulled out of Russia in 2022 when they invaded Ukraine. So yeah, this has probably been on the shelf of my local Apple store for quite a while now. And you know, it's $19 for a cloth. But yeah, let's unbox it. Why are we unboxing a cloth anyways? Like, a cloth needs to be unboxed. And just like an iPhone box, you open it by pulling on this pull tab. And we have the cloth. Oh my god, oh my god. This is a work of art. Wait, okay. Oh, there's a message. Okay. That's, it says, safe for, use on all, uh, safe for use on all Apple displays and surfaces for infrequent cleaning of hard to remove smudges on nano texture glass, a 70% isopropyl alcohol solution may be used. Even comes with a card. This is the premium Apple experience, you know? This is the experience you get when you're buying an Apple product, even if it's just a cloth. Oh my god. Okay. So here is the cloth. It feels really high quality. It's actually double layered because, like, it comes folded out of the box and so you can actually kind of feel how it's actually double layered uh, along the crease right here this is a not gonna lie this is actually a really high quality cloth look got the apple logo here just to show that this isn't just some ordinary piece of microfiber cloth no 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 it's the apple cloth and yeah, it feels really high quality. Now let's get into the review and see what we can clean with it. The cloth itself has a very soft and satisfying texture. To be honest, it kind of feels like foam. It is composed of two pieces of non-abrasive material stuck together at the edges of the cloth. On the bottom right corner, there is a small Apple logo embossed into the bottom of the cloth. Just to show everyone that this isn't just some ordinary piece of microfiber cloth, it's an Apple cloth. But how well does this $19 piece of microfiber cloth actually clean stuff? I've been getting some mixed results, but generally it's pretty good actually. So according to Apple's official product description, the cloth is compatible with the iPhone 5 and later. I have no idea what a piece of cloth has a compatibility list, but that's besides the point. So I tried using this cloth to wipe windows and glass surfaces, but it doesn't seem to clean any non-tech surface well, but it does yield some amazing results actually when you clean tech products with it. Just one wipe of the cloth on the iPhone screen, or any phone screen for that matter, and it instantly wipes all the debris and marks away. More importantly, this is the best cloth for cleaning MacBook screens. You know how MacBook screens tend to get really dirty with fingerprints and stuff because they don't have oleophobic coatings like iPhones do? In the past, I've tried a variety of methods, including using wet wipes and regular microfiber cloth, even toilet paper sometimes, but they're all pretty bad at cleaning the screen of my 16-inch MacBook Pro. However, with just the cloth and maybe a bit of moisture, all marks on my MacBook Pro screen were instantly eliminated like magic. It just works. I would highly recommend this cloth for cleaning your MacBook screens. 
On the other hand, the glass surface of my iPad 9 also tends to get pretty dirty, but for whatever reason, the polishing cloth doesn't really seem to do anything substantial. It doesn't clean my iPad screen nearly as well as my other tech products, and I have no idea why. Maybe it's because it's the cheapest iPad Apple makes? And don't worry, this cloth also cleans Android phones and cleans them really well too. So overall, albeit is a bit expensive, the Apple polishing cloth does actually have a premium feel to it and it's actually really good for cleaning your MacBook and nano texture Apple displays. In fact, this is actually the only cloth Apple certifies for cleaning nano texture Apple displays. So it's actually worth it if you're buying it to clean your MacBook or other Apple products. Or you can just buy for the memes or to show off your devotion to this fruit company that's worth $3 trillion. Otherwise, this silly $19 microfiber cloth from Apple is probably not worth your money and a $1 cloth from Amazon would probably work just fine. So thank you guys so much for watching this video of me reviewing a cloth for some reason. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tech content like this and I'll see you guys soon with more interesting content, I hope. Bye.